We're here in El Ala, one of the poorest towns in Tunisia, where unemployment stands at around 40 percent. Residents here say they feel increasingly abandoned by the government and particularly young people who say their best option is to leave. Since 2010, 8,000 people have moved out of Al Ala. One of my sons might have died at sea. I haven't heard from him since 2016. I don't know where he is. Maybe in Italy, France or Germany. He had nothing here, so he left. My other son is in prison for stealing some bread. Some residents are fighting back to break the cycle of poverty. Ridar has created an association that gives grants to young people to launch local businesses. We're trying to motivate young people. We want them to stay here and not move elsewhere, to launch projects here in Al Ala, despite the lack of opportunities. Bilal set up this barber shop using money from the association. It's not the career he'd hoped for after graduating from university, but he knows many of his peers are a lot worse off. Young people across Tunisia are suffering. We've been forgotten about. Our town has the highest suicide rate in the country, which is often reported in the media. We're also the most underdeveloped town in Tunisia. 60% of graduates in Al Ala are out of work. Tackling widespread unemployment is the government's main challenge, as well as boosting development in Tunisia's poorest regions.